guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where today we're joined by Mirror Matt. Hi. Slowly, as Hello. he turns on his microphone. <laughs> Hi. Ever so slowly, Mirror Matt's here. But also we're joined by another new face, Ash. Hello. And by face, I mean a face that is off camera. So we're joined by another voice. Yes, another voice. Hello, everyone. The <laughs> <laughs> you have such a delightful voice. Right? I know. <laughs> it's amazing. I know. You make us so sound fine. like mean. <laughs> hey, I'm Matt Pat. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's me. I'm Ash. <laughs> you sound like the, the voices that I, uh, the, my princess voice when I put Holly to bed at night. And he's like, tell me your princess <laughs> voice, daddy. And I'm like, hello, it's me. I'm princess. Well, who knows? Maybe this is just a recording of you that you're playing back. Oh, oh. lore. <laughs> the lore. I was actually going to make the exact same joke. The lore of the channel continues to deepen as invisible faces off screen pile up <laughs> and yet i am still <laughs> empty on the couch people I, I saw the other day there was someone being like on, on twitter they hit me up they're like you know for a channel that does all this like arg exposed and solving these mysteries and stuff, you don't have a lot of easter eggs and stuff hidden in your videos do i not <laughs> is the question i ask to you uh i mean we did the arg thing a couple years ago. like we did some really intense args uh a couple years ago so we had to take a little break and I just sent you a jacket. I just made offer the the jacket where you can solve the puzzle. So I'm, they're still existing. But as far as in the lore of the shows itself, I mean, there you go. Is Mirror Matt a figment of my imagination? Is Ash uh, a figment of Mirror Matt's imagination, which is a figment of my imagination? I kind of like that. Yeah? Yeah. Like the, the Russian nesting dolls? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Ash, a.k.a. figment of Mirror Matt's imagination, mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me a fun fact. Okay, um, a fun fact about me is that when I was 12, I did crime, and I touched um, the outside of the Titanic. You did crime? I did so much crime. <laughs> you did a lot of crime, wow. Yeah, this is the first thing I want the internet to know about me, you're, is that I'm a nasty a criminal. little criminal. <laughs> you are <cr> <laughs> You did. I, I just like the phrase. I did crime. I did crime. I, I did crime. It gave me big sad. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it didn't. What, I was very happy about I, it. I don't blame you. You're one of the few people to have actually touched. If assuming that you had a physical body and a physical presence in the in the real world, uh, to <laughs> to physically touch the Titanic. Yeah. What did it feel like? Um, bumpy. Rusty metal. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> then I cut my ocean. finger and got tetanus. And it was <laughs> terrible. It was it was very short. My finger is intact. Nice. Oops. Yeah. What what part of the Titanic did you touch? Um, it was the bottom most part. It was like if you look at pictures of it, it's navy blue at the bottom. Well, super oh, underwater. Su oh, super Extremely underwater. Extremely underwater. Most I mean, <laughs> at this point I think, you know, it's it's a given that most of the Titanic is pretty solidly underwater. But yeah. that was an underwater underwater like, part. The most underwater. Okay, as you can get. Yeah. Matt, what's the coolest thing you've ever touched? <laughs> <laughs> Best question ever. God, like, <laughs> like, what do you want? <laughs> An answer? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think gelatin is real. I think touching oh. jello, very oh, interesting. Oh, oh, the pool of Orbeez uh, from the live stream. That was that really was a cool. Really fun thing to touch. Me getting uh, dunked in Ublek. Very yeah. interesting thing to have touched. Cool thing Ooh. to touch. Do I have a cool answer for the coolest thing I've ever touched? No, not off the top of my head. Like, <laughs> sometimes an answer is just an answer. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like sometimes you're watching RuPaul's Drag Race and you're playing the Snatch Game very poorly and RuPaul tosses you a prompt. Yeah. And even <laughs> though they're like, oh, this is very clearly a joke setup, yeah. you can't come up with something off the no. bat. Like, poor, poor William Shakespeare, Lady Camden, on this season of RuPaul's Drag Race got tossed, got the... the the bad edit for her Snatch Game performance when RuPaul was tossing her edits and joke prompts that were, like, really difficult to pay off. So, Sorry. That, so you're in defense of Lady Camden. That, that deviated. So you're a Lady Camden stan. Are you, are you, <laughs> hold up. So are you still watching this uh, season oh, yeah. of RuPaul's Drag Race? duty. Are you, yeah. As, as, as duty, right. <laughs> yes. Duty calls. Man, this, th I, I want to do an entire rant on film theory alone just to talk mm. about Ru where RuPaul's Drag Race is at this Interesting. point. Interesting, okay. I'm very passionate about it. But I have very strong opinions. <laughs> <laughs> very this is 
is a pattern. Yeah. This is a recurring pattern. Okay. <laughs> I, strong, I don't. I don't usually have strong opinions. So this might surprise you, but I usually don't have strong opinions. <laughs> but when it comes to RuPaul's Drag Race right. and watercolors, I have very strong opinions. I care about two things. Two very specific. <laughs> And sometimes portal lore and, and things yeah. like that, but two very specific things, and that is RuPaul's Drag Race and the general programming of a season of reality television and watercolors. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's your complaint? The fact that it's like oh, 11, episode. 12 episodes in and there's been four non-eliminations, yeah. including two that were like outright lies to the audience at the yeah. beginning, where they're like, this person's gone, this person's gone. Surprise! Sorry third episode they're bad it's like no you don't lie to your audience that way plus there's this stupid mechanic the of the bar. chocolate bar i like the chocolate bar so dumb <laughs> it, it ruins the flow of eliminate everyone you can tell that everyone on on camera yeah. hates the chocolate bar i everyone it, hates the chocolate bar but it bar. did give us the brief two seconds in each episode where they go it's chocolate <laughs> which is so cringe. I love it's that so part. Bad. I love that part. It's so part. bad. And and it's just an excuse for them to elongate the season even more than it's already been yeah. elongated. Well, I blame... Sorry. Like, Sorry, all you people who don't care at all about... You know, if you've watched this channel long enough, that I love reality TV, I love reality competition shows, and RuPaul's Drag Race has been one that I've been watching since season one. So uh, watching it before it was cool, back when they smeared Vaseline across the camera and called it, like, a blur filter. Uh, so, like, I have strong feelings. And so when a season of television is so stretched out yeah. and so, like, just, like, what can we do to fill out the... Em the, the rapidly emptying schedule of primetime television with a successful format. Here it is! Here's just an entire years-long, you know, season of RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah. I blame Viacom. Or whatever parent <laughs> company it is. I think, I think it is Viacom. Yeah. yeah. Because, like... Wow. They should know better. They, they, mm. So true, bestie. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Ash, how do you feel about RuPaul's Drag Race? You know, you can have no opinion. Oh no, I have some opinions. Um, I've only watched seasons four and five, and then one of All Stars. Um, Which four, one? four and five though. Those are the golden. So, years. Those are the golden years. Yeah. I mean, you watched the good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, I need to get caught up now. You don't. You don't. No. Like, <laughs> we're, don't? see, okay. we're on the train. The train left the station, and now we're committed to the train. I'm stuck on the train. I know, I'm stuck <laughs> on the train. They won't open the doors. And I'm like, am I really going to sit through an hour-long episode? Hour and a half. Just, uh, right? Plus Untucked. I know, I, I gave up on I used to watch Untucked, and then I'm like, why? At the, like, no. But am I really going to sit through an hour and a half of television that is just lip-syncing yeah. and more lip-syncing and reiterating the lips? It's like, man, how, noise. how lazy, right? Yeah. I'm like, ugh. Yeah. Come on. And, and you know... Last thing. And you know <laughs> that the finale is going to have like four of them in it and they're all going to do another uh, round of lip sync battles. And it's like, yeah. there's more, like actually have challenges. Yeah. Make them do stuff that I, shows off how amazingly talented they actually are. Yes. And, and now I just end up being like, oh, the whole, it's such a slog and it ends up making everyone look bad because they're trying to stretch this thing out. And so I'm less enthusiastic about the show, and I'm less enthusiastic about the contestants. That's it. You don't like Lady Camden? She's fine. She's so nice. She's fine. She's very sweet. We're, we're a George's household. <laughs> we are rooting for George's. <laughs> she is so pretty. <laughs> Great. G good. I'm so happy. So watercolors are pretty. She is so pretty. I'm so glad that your arbiter of talent... Is pretty. No, looking like that is a That talent. is the lesson. I'll have you know, I've taught Ollie that lesson. I'm like, sometimes pretty people can be mean. Like, because he because he automatically associates, like, all these mm. pretty people. He's like, oh, she's pretty. Like, I want... And not in a mean way. Like, I'm not like, oh, pretty people are out to hurt you. And they're, you know. But it's this idea of, like, you know, pretty equals good. Yeah. And, you know, we've tried, to, like, uh, like, the evil stepsister. Like, we've been reading Cinderella and the mm -hmm. evil stepsisters, right? He's like, oh, they're pretty. And I'm like, yeah, they're pretty, but they treat Cinderella mean. And, and he's trying to, like, wrap his head around how, you know, things that look nice and are aesthetically pleasing can actually have, like, me mean or, like, ugly components to them, which is tough. Yeah. So, not saying that about George's, but I am saying that George's is still in this competition and it doesn't make sense. Like, she's good at lip syncing, but... We can talk, we can talk later. 
this is a this is a whole. I thing. don't know if I want to talk to you later <laughs> after this. Really, really. When your job is to look good, the, their job. Is, she is. How excelling. dare you? How dare you She's boil excelling. down what a drag queen does I to mean, just looking good? I mean, if, and dancing well. Here's the thing. Yeah, sure. So, <laughs> meme review. Sorry, what now? Of all of the contestants on this season, yeah. The show that I want to go to the most hmm. is a Georgia's show. Really? Yes. I, I see. I I am not interested at all because I feel like it's all so surface level. It's just I I see. Uh, guess what? You saw the Georgia show during the like five hundred lip syncs, and I want to see it again. I want to see it again. See, for me, meanwhile, I like Willow. I'd love to see oh, the show yeah, that I Willow, Willow creates. I, Willow yeah. is, I think, fantastic. Yeah. I, I think. I think there's a couple queens in there this season that are really like I like I like the ones that are just interesting, mm. you know. And and Willow for me this season of everyone is like, oh, you've got a big breadth of talent, but you're also doing some weird, interesting stuff, yeah. which is which is cool for me. So, some memes. Are you going to the Are you <laughs> Are you going to the RuPaul Work the World tour when it comes here? Is in it Raleigh? coming here? It is. I already got my tickets. Really? I, yeah. Ooh. I think it's funny that you're just now telling me that you bought tickets for this event that you knew that I would want to go to. I mean, it is a Valentine's Day gift for Steph oh, and I, okay. but you're welcome to tag along <laughs> because we are Team Tricycle over here. Like, we, we are Team Tricycle. We always have that third wheel coming with us, uh, whether it's, you know, our friends from college or Ollie or now you. Yeah. So, you, yeah. Come on. Ash, you want to come? We yeah. Can, that that's a fourth wheel now. I think we could do go karts. Assuming that either of you had tangible physical bodies that existed in real life, that's four wheels. Now we're a four wheeler. You've thrown off the t- tricycle, man. If anything, it's safer. More balanced. No, I don't know if that's true. So memes. Tri- triangles are the strongest <laughs> shapes, memes. man. Memes. Hey, uh, thanks for being here, Ash. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for putting up with that. I hey. do need to watch this show now. I might. Ugh. Yeah. I do. We'll have a lot to talk about. There, okay. Is there a okay. Reddit account that does like what what they do with like Power Rangers and stuff? Where they're like, here are the only essential episodes Absolutely. that you need to watch. There must Ooh. be, right? No, I could I could list like five YouTube accounts that are just like that, that are like the highlights. Skip all of these. Great. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. All right. Hey, we're you sent memes. We're <laughs> reacting to memes. Hey, and also uh, over on the Game Theory subreddit here, uh, if you pull it up, man, look, we crossed five hundred thousand subredditors j- joined Reddit members. I don't know, oh. but. Theorists. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, man. Yes. 500,000 theorists. Yeah. Yeah. So, unfortunately, Reddit doesn't, like, celebrate that stuff with, like, a, a golden, like, upvote button or something. That'd be amazing. Um, but, no, thank you guys so much for being a part of the community. Thank you for, uh, you know, following us over there and submitting so much cool stuff. Uh, every Monday is me Monday. Fridays are Fan Art Fridays. Uh, even though you guys know how I feel about alliteration, it's okay. Um... I'll, we'll let it slide because this is all you guys are running this stuff. Um, but it's been awesome to see. I know we haven't done one of these in a while because we've been busy with a lot of other stuff with cooking companions and things like that. So there's been kind of a backlog and we're still working through it. So if you don't see your stuff here, I know for a fact that there is a Friday Night Funkin' mod that was made for us uh, that we absolutely have to play and that I've put on Matt and Ash's list now. So hopefully... It, we get to play it before I have to bring in a third person to actually <laughs> get it done. So we'll just keep adding bodies by person number five. We'll finally get there. Uh, but no, so so that is going to be coming up soon. Uh, some Friday Night Funkin' mods, uh, especially one that you guys created, which is amazing. Uh, but let's hop into the actual memes, starting with uh, Waffle Waffles Call. Can I who, fix, your, fix your mic? Who made a thing? Can you slide it up? Yeah, it's, it's doing the thing. Am I not being loud enough? No, you are. It's hitting your... I can be louder, Matt! Too loud? How's that? Okay. Do a little shimmy. Yo, shim shake. That's Look great. at me. <laughs> Lucy goosey Matt bat. <laughs> Lucy goosey. Okay. <laughs> Waffle Cole. Waffle Z Cole made a thing. Here we go. Let's see what the thing they made is. Wait, it's Lucy goosey Matt bat. You may want to turn the volume. Yeah, on. I was gonna say it this way. <laughs> <laughs> Reddit. If I'm pressing play on a video, chances are I want to hear it. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the creaking door sold it for me. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like a dolphin is more like. Is that, 
that's that's that's. I was not expecting that. That was fantastic. <laughs> the, the wealth of talent runs <laughs> shallow, but that's one of them. I could also do what the orca, where it's like ah 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 ah. That's like how an orca talks. <laughs> Under underwater <laughs> mammal sounds. Apparently, that I, I can't do accents to save my life. Uh, but I can apparently do underwater mammal sounds. And door creaks, apparently. So all you have to do is give me some brain freeze. And I'm like, ah! Brain freeze, man. Matt had to suffer through that one. That was tough. I'm sorry. That was really tough. Yeah, they... I saw in the video they, they cut a lot of it. Oh, they cut most of it, <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> thankfully, the editors had the, the, the foresight to trim that down very heavily. Uh, but yeah, for those of you who don't know, that's actually from our food theory episode where I was giving myself brain freeze. Good times. <laughs> the things we do for content. Okay, the FNAF iceberg. Vent seal. So, Matt, you know what this is a reference to, right? The vent seal. Obviously, vent seal. This is the animatronic that we created. Vent seal. Where we misinterpreted, you know, the ability to seal a vent in a Five Nights at Freddy's game for an animatronic. We have an OC. Oh, do we ever have an OC? Oh. <laughs> Again, the, the the depth of OCs, <laughs> Rundy. But yeah, this is our OC. Do not steal. Do, do not steal. Made for Matt Pat uh, by Instinct Fazbear. Oh, here we go. Vent seal. Seal goes through the vents of Fazbear's fright. If you hear him making the sound of a seal, that's the sound of a seal, clearly. Good, yeah. Close the vent by using the seal vent option, whilst also fending off spring trap. Failing to do so, seal will jump scare you, crushing your head with his arm flaps. Brilliant. That sounds kind of pleasant. That's it. You know, we, we made Felix, so uh, the this week's game theory talked about uh, Felix the Shark, which is the unofficial F Fazbear Frights book that's coming out as part 12 of that series. We spoke that into being. We made a joke about how there wasn't an animatronic shark in the series, and then it happened. Now, let, this is it. Let's test how far our powers go. Let's test how far these powers go. Pfft. Uh, animatronic seal and FNAF? Come on, guys. Never gonna happen. Security breach DLC. Just saying. It's gonna happen. More merchandising opportunities. Here we go. It's a Map Pat moment by Manboy06. And also by shit posting. So there you go. Matt Pat struggling for weeks, calculating the exact diameter of Waluigi's. <laughs> yep. That. <laughs> I mean, that's that would be my reaction. Oh, it's huge. Ash pointed out earlier yes. how jarring it is to see Matt Pat with two T's. Yeah. It's it's, it's quite cursed. <laughs> <laughs> You know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's and also two words instead of one word yeah, camel case. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. there's there's a lot of ways for it to go wrong. It's actually a really good uh, barometer to see how connected, like how much the people pay attention, how connected they are to the community, to see how you know if they if they do that. Yeah. Um, like when we get business, uh, and and I don't judge you guys for it. Like like let me be clear. Like this is not, I don't care. I don't expect you guys to know how to spell Matt Pat in the proper way. Yes, I'm but, sorry. I don't mean to roast your meme. It's no, a good one. No. It's, it's meme. It's meme. You are reviewing the meme. Okay, okay. Um, but no, to be fair, and, and, and like I said, I don't care. Like you guys spell it however you want. It probably autocorrects that way half the time too. Um, but when I get business emails that are sent to Matt Pat and it's spelled in a horrific way, that then you know it's like ah, oh, this person doesn't. Care. They don't. They don't know. They don't know. That being said, uh, right now there's not a whole lot of new games to talk about. So uh, uh, Waluigi's. Uh, gir under <laughs> undercarriage girth. <laughs> you know. It's, it's, just saying it's fair game. It's that's fair a, game. That's a neat little bracelet you got on. Thank you. What is it? It is a it is a pipe cleaner. Yeah. With a couple of beads uh -huh. threaded through it <laughs> that Ollie made at Cute. school. Aww. And and so he's been making bracelets. And that's so nice. I have one. Are there any like letters on it or it's just Nope, it is, uh, it is two stars, two little flowers and Two little beads. Two nice. silver Aww. beads. Yep. So there you go. Thank you. Can't help but notice I didn't get a bracelet from Ollie. He hasn't seen you in a while, actually. That's true. He, 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 you and him keep crossing. They're like yeah. ships. Ships in the distance. Through the night. Yeah, ships, ships in the wind. <laughs> ships. <laughs> ships in the night. Planes deviating course. Water towers. Water, water towers tipping in opposite directions. <laughs> That's what it is. Next. Uh, MatPat Files. Made this in like two hours. Okay. Nice. Oh, great. The MatPat files. Here we go. Like the Walton files. 
Let me turn on the sound. Yes! <laughs> oh, this is great already. Now a word from our company CEO, Matthew Patrick. Yes! Oh, that's amazing! I also love these logos at the beginning. This right here, I mean, it's it's so perfect for this style. This is great. Ah! Oh, I want more Walton files! I know, like, Back Rooms has been has been surging. We also uh, put it on the list, Matt. List. Uh, and Ash, because list. Matt doesn't actually put things on lists. He just puts them in his head. So, you know, so Ash, make sure he puts it on a list. Again, five people down the line. It'll get written down at some point. Um, Baddington. So, uh, Baddington's a channel that we, that I've been keeping track of actually for a while. That was on the list. Well, I know. But, oh, but I'm, for the sake of. But now more, there's more, there's more reason for it to be repeated on the list because more videos have been, like, it, it's kind of become active again. Okay. So, just okay. throwing it out there. Got it. Just if we want to find something else that's creepy to react to that involves m murder and, and horrific family tragedy. Are there anim animatronics? Oh boy! Are there animatronics? <laughs> you know it! Why would I tell you to put something on the list if it doesn't have animatronics? <laughs> the only, I'm only hoping that Friday Night Funkin' at some point has an animatronic character to make all my enthusiasm about the franchise worth it. So it's paying it for the long game. It's like investing in a stock. Okay. Uh, uh, Hans, Hans, Hans Dyson. Hans, I don't know where to divide it. Hans Edison. Ha, ah, Hans Edison. It could have been Hans Dyson. <laughs> could be Hans Dyson. No, that was a tricky one. Oh, that was awesome. That was tricky. <laughs> uh, if Matt Pat were in Pokemon. Yep, this is it. Look at me. Going around, the only thing missing is my red jacket. I'm so pleasant. This is casual, Matt Pat. I don't know if I've ever walked around in just a white t-shirt to save my life. <laughs> Lucy Goosey Matt Pat. There you go. Look, even when I try to do my arms loose, it doesn't work. Stiff, 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 stiff. Look, this is me walking like my Pokemon. People don't get called a stiff enough for me. That's such a good insult. Is it? Yeah. Why? It's just. You know, it packs a punch. Does it? It's reminiscent of an era. <laughs> I mean, it is reminiscent of an era. Maybe, that, maybe stiff, that's the reason why. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's real. Good. It's a real stiff, that one. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 1920s Prohibition era. Like, yeah. I'm gonna give him a walk with the fishes. Who invented that sound? Uh, that's how they talk. Did people Man. really say Nyasi? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clearly. Everyone did. Everyone went around. It's less like how when you go to Canada, everyone says A. Oh. Yeah. A? It was you know. the A of the 20s and 30s. Of Prohibition area. <laughs> yeah, see? We're going to go down to the five and dime and go have ourselves a malt. A malted milkshake. You know, going to go over to the soda jerk. Yeah, see? <laughs> you know, nowadays people say... Whatever lit. people say, lit fam. No, Sheesh. that's that's like so five years ago. <laughs> She's just a good one. Yeah. She, She's just like two years past, ago. She's just yeah. like a year or two ago. Oh. <laughs> I was on that Mr. Beast, uh, the 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 million dollar challenge on Mr. Beast channel, and I will never forget the time where <laughs> where <laughs> one of the contestants got Doctor Phil to read on his calculator the word is sheesh. Oh. Excellent. That, that was part of that was his talent show. Was he did a little like number calculation with Mr. Doctor Phil, and uh -huh. then you, you do the classic flip it upside down, but instead of like you know boobies or whatever, like I mean, because that's always what it is. It's it was sheesh, sheesh. and, and Doctor Phil's like, and so he's like, read out what it says, and he's like, sheesh. It's like <laughs> sheesh. <laughs> Doctor, he was so confused. You almost said Mr. Phil. I, I did. Mr. Phil. He is a Mr. Mr. Phil is Dr. Phil without the mustache. <laughs> it's cursed Dr. It's Phil. It's like Poot Lovato. Yeah, it's, it's Dr. Phil with hair. Yeah. Mr. Phil. <laughs> oh, he was surprisingly nice in person. He has beautiful blue eyes. Oh, totally. Oh, gorgeous. Chris, you could dive into the pools and just no. swim around. <laughs> sheesh! Uh, what, I, what I miss is when people said, she, like, oh, sheesh. 
Yeah. Not like sheesh, but like sheesh. <laughs> like shucks. Yeah, like shucks. Yeah. Sheesh. Oh, sheesh, guys. Whatever happened to that? Yeah, bring back sheesh in an unironic way. Yeah, not yeah. the unironic. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Just like drip. The, the, the words are meaningless at this point. It's true. It's, it's completely meaningless. Oh, well, Matt, well done. Well done. W- Waffle Z Cole again. Glad. They're posting good <laughs> stuff. Post- They're on a roll. Sheesh. Sheesh. Sheesh, Matt. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> uh, quick question. Is this his face? Or is this? Oh. That's a great question. <laughs> that's some, that's mind-blowing right there. I don't it must be this must be the face right because you have eyes you have eyes there so this is a a witch's hat with a with the plague mask hat like a plague mask on top of it oh you, do you see it yeah it's like one of those like once you see this you'll never be able to unsee it wait go back up <laughs> right yeah because those are weird arms <laughs> right. like if those are meant to be his arms they're Crazy looking. Wait, what? Oh, what? These are? No. So, I mean, this is obviously hair, but I thought if the plague mask is hate here and this is like bottom of the road. Hmm. Well, I'm like, if the plague mask is his face. Right. Then assume no, no, you're right. those yeah. would be his arms. No, this is definitely the face. This is just a plague mask on top of your hat, on top of your head. Obviously. It's a look. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a drip, yeah. as they say. You know, sheesh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> next. Uh, it's it's a wild EJ. Uh, Jacob Schindler's Matt Pat's voice, imp- voice impression. Oh man, here we go. Ah, uh, we got we got an impersonator over on TikTok. Here we go. And of course we can't hear it because it's Reddit. Come on! How hard is it to default to audio on? Hello, Internet, and welcome to Game Theory, the show that got Five Nights at Freddy's completely right. Uh, maybe not. Foxy more. is a mill. <laughs> True. Hashtag truth. Uh, that was good. That was really solid. I can I just hire him on? Can he just run the channels at this point? <laughs> just like, yeah, and the people won't, they won't be able to tell the truth. We get an impersonator to do an episode. So, Whoa. fun fact. I don't know if this is going to happen. When, when's this one going up? Monday. Today's Monday. Like, Next Monday. The following. <laughs> Calculating. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, uh, hopefully, at the end of this week. At the end of this week. Um... I'm trying. I don't know if it is, it's actually going to happen, but I'm trying to get AI-generated scripts done. Ooh. It was something that was, I mean, like, the, the Google Translate does whatever, and, like, you, you see it, you saw it every once in a while, like, early YouTube days, where it was that idea of, like, oh, we plugged, you know, a, a song into Google Translate and it retranslated it, or, you know, uh, an AI generated this script or whatever. So I'm trying to get, like, we're feeding, we have one of our researchers who's very good at computers, and programming and stuff, uh, he created an algorithm to basically ingest all of the past game theory, game theory, film theory, and food theory scripts to generate a an AI computer generated script for each individual channel. Which I, I I'm hoping it, it for April Fool's Day, you know, like just as kind of like a fun April Fool's Day, or it'll be on April second if everything goes right. Um, we'll see if it actually comes to fruition. If not, well, you heard about it here. Um, <laughs> So that idea of, you know, having other people, like, play with the formats, I, I think that's really fun. And so, yeah, let's, let's, who's, what, what's it, Jacob Schindler. Maybe we can reach out to Jacob Schindler and be like, hey, can you voice an episode and then see if anyone notices? And people are like, Matt Pat's voice, does he, is he, does he sound a little sick today yeah. or what's going on? He's just, it's a little chill. Ah, oh. <laughs> maybe I, maybe I started off, I'm like, hello, oh, <coughs> excuse me, oh, my voice is going and then he, like, and then he finishes it off and, like, you never know. <laughs> well, now they will. Will they, though? <laughs> will Will they come back to this moment and recognize that that's what happened? They'll just have to watch every single episode up until then and be like, huh, is this is this the one? Is this the one? They, they will. Rewatch, they will, rewatch, Ash, analyze. Ash gets it. <laughs> Knowledge. See, Knowledge. Watch time. Yes. Brilliant. Wait, let's, <laughs> let's hear it. Hello, Internet, and welcome to Game Theory. You got the grind. Hello, yeah. Internet. Cadence is slightly off. That, I will say, like... Hello, Internet! Welcome to Game Theory! So, like, l- he needs a little bit more pause. I understand you're working on TikTok, so it's a it's abbreviated format. You gotta get a lot in there in a short amount of time. Theory, the show that got Five Nights at Freddy's completely right. Um, 
He's got all. He's also got that high voice going uh, on. Yeah, like, oh, I don't know if that one's yeah. really about it. Ah! I'm, you know, I'm glad to see that it only took 11 years for the internet to come full circle on this. Because when I first started, everyone's like, "Man, MatPat has the most obnoxious voice." And whenever we did something on someone else's channel, it was always like, "I hate his voice. He is he is human garbage because his voice is not pretty." <laughs> Like, if you go back to old, like, uh, Did You Know Gaming videos and stuff, then when I would be, like, a guest voice over there, they're like, Ah! Never invite this guy back again! He's the worst! Sheesh. Sheesh! Right? Sheesh. Oh, man. That guy's a drip in the bad way, not in the cool clothing way. He's a stiff. What a stiff! <laughs> <laughs> it's so... It's so, yeah. Uh, I'm glad that we've gotten to a point in history where now people at least tolerate my voice enough that they're willing to replicate it on their own personal social media feeds. So there you go. So uh, put a pin in this one. Who knows? Maybe in addition to the AI-generated script, at some point there'll be Jacob Schindler. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll hit you up at some point. Uh, Matt Pat was truly blessed by Big Nian. <laughs> Matt Pat figuring out Mark's perfect Pokemon. That is what I did. Matt Pat figuring out... Wait, wait. There's no, okay. Is this like a bottle flip? I mean, I haven't seen the one on the left. Oh! What? That was awesome. That was amazing. I'm just blown away by that perfect circle. That's all. Oh, beautiful. What a beautiful circle. Take that, math teachers, geometry teachers for years. Um, so I have seen that, what, Mark had to react to, he, uh, it's like Sucker for Love or something. It's a new game that he's been playing on his channel. And I, a lot of people have been hitting me up on Twitter where there's a an Egyptian, a giant Egyptian cat woman. And he's like, and he says smash to her, right? Yeah. I think that's in there. It's one of these tabs. I think we have a screenshot of. Well, spoiler... Okay, well, very, cue very sad, Matt Pat. Uh, Matt Pat, when he tries to explain the FNAF timeline, get after a game. <laughs> it's true. Oh, this is me every time I talk to Matt about, <laughs> about FNAF. Who was Mike Afton? Who was Mike? Okay, Ash, do you know who Mike is? Mike Afton? Yeah. Well, uh, you spoiled it. I mean, that moment also popped up on my TikTok for you page. So okay. I have a little bit, I have a little okay. bit of background. I know, I know, I know a decent bit of FNAF lore though. Yeah. So. Well, so do I. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh man, Ooh. can we do a, can we do a, can we do a FNAF lore off between the two of you? Oh, that'd be so fun. I think I'd lose. I, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you're, hey, good on you. Keep reaching for the stars, Matt. Keep believing in maybe, yourself. Maybe I'd surprise y'all. I, yeah, right? At this point. I've, you're I've almost, been sticking around for a long time. You're almost all the way down through the iceberg. Exactly. You survived the entirety of security breach. That, you know? Okay. No, I, like, actually, when you look, I, like, I know I give you a hard time about yeah. it, and, you know, to be fair, I, Matt takes a lot, and he's, he's totally game for doing it, so he's awesome. <laughs> like, shout out to Matt, he's underappreciated. But the idea of, um, like, when you actually look at the amount of stuff that you've been exposed to yeah. through all, like, you... Oh, been, it's hours. It's hours. Mm -hmm. You know? I bet, if, I bet if you asked Ash, who the original composer of Five Nights at Freddy's was, which, as we all know, was at the top of the iceberg... Y dot 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 you know God. matt you would know who it was i if i saw the iceberg again i could remember the name <laughs> <laughs> i know that at one point we knew at one point mm -hmm. ash do you know who the original composer of five nights Freddy's was no clue See? well that's gonna study up because when be this episode really happens that's gonna that's gonna be the like <laughs> that's gonna, that's be, gonna be the fun. tiebreaker question that'll be sudden death <laughs> We're both just like sweating. <laughs> Who's the composer? Who did it? It all comes down to this, and we don't know. It all comes down to this here. FNAF composer, obviously. Uh, Leon Riskin. <laughs> Leon Riskin. Leon Riskin. Obviously. Obviously, yeah. okay. There you go. Right. Now okay. you know. Top of the iceberg, guys. Top of the iceberg. Here we go. Next up. Uh, game theory moment. I did not create this meme. Okay. Uh, my, my small pennies. Be nice. Great. Game theory on their way to make the most absurd theory in existence and somehow have it make sense. It's true. Deadpool is Ernest Hemingway. Yeah! Let's do it! it, it it's true, actually. When I when we have, like, really over-the-top stupid theories, I, I feel this. I'm like, yeah! Let's do it! Like, when I'm really proud of an episode, it's like, yeah! 
Uh, well, I'm trying to think of one in. Uh, My re- favorite is Baby Shark was adopted. That's one of them. That's that's, so that's one of good. them. Good, it's so good. It works out so well. Yeah. But it's also so dumb, you know. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I think like the Encanto, like I felt really good about the Encanto film theory, where I'm like, yeah, Dolores is the villain. That's a Disney movie, in case you don't know. Me. I am familiar. It's it. I don't know if you've heard the song. We don't talk about Bruno, but I that's have. what that's from. Okay. I have. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I'm good. on TikTok. Nice. It's a TikTok sound. It's a TikTok. <laughs> oh, rolling in. Time to choose. Oh, man, here we go. <laughs> okay. One will protect you. The rest will attack you. Choose wisely. Okay. Matthew Patrick is me in high school inviting my uh, school to prom. Uh, Matt Pat is just the, the cardboard cutout of me that's existed for the last decade. Uh, Pathew, Ma- <laughs> Pathew Matrick is me. Uh, soaking wet in the middle of my college campus, helping to promote my friend's uh, student government campaign. And then alternate Matt Pat. I guess this would be like Pat Pat Matt uh, or, or Nega Pat, uh, which is me as William Afton, character from the Five Nights at Freddy's lore, uh, but not official canon lore. I am not actually William Afton, a.k.a. Purple Guy, uh, in the Random Encounters musical, FNAF musical. Uh, okay. One will protect me? I mean, this guy is carrying a literal flamethrower and is unhinged beyond belief that he kills people, so someone's going to protect me. I feel like I, I kind of want him to protect me, right? Plus, plus, if everyone else is attacking me, do you think this is really going to attack you? <laughs> let's, let's be honest. Is Matthew Patrick, you know, this troubles me. Is, is Mr. This Troubles Me really going to protect I don't think so. Here's my case for Matthew Patrick. Uh, oh, okay. Whoa. Here we go. He sure is persuasive. he is persuasive so i think he'd persuade the other ones to fall back wow he'd be like guys can you go to prom with me exactly i I, i'm worried that you might make a decision that you'll regret for the rest of your life this troubles me Uh, that's right uh ash who do you who do you (laughs) welcome welcome who do you want (laughs) who's your pick um i don't know i feel very compelled by um uh, is it Pathew Atric? Yeah, in the in the lime green suit, huh? I don't know what it is, but mm-hmm. I just feel like because it's so loud. Mm-hmm. I mean, what what's he carrying over? It's a boom, uh, a small a small speaker system, Ooh. a small boombox, yeah. A little boombox, okay. <laughs> Ooh, a little boombox. Yeah, a little boombox. <laughs> we were we were dancing to Never Gonna Give. So this was us at the bus stop of West Campus of Duke University, uh, dancing to Never Gonna Give You Up. Uh, by Rick Astley, because that was a very relevant meme at mm-hmm. the time. Uh, but also, it was to promote my friend who was running for student body government under the campaign of he was never going to give you up. You see, I I would choose him to protect me because, like, I feel like with the little boombox, yeah. Rick Astley, yeah. like that, he's, he's got a lot going for him. Yeah, it's he's, like a protective shield of chaos where it's like <laughs> it's just enough. Where it's like I feel like the others would be like, oh, okay, no, yeah. it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> And you know what? I thrive in chaos. So, nice. Oh man. You know, I think I think that would be good. Matt, you have an opinion? I saw I saw you I saw you pick up the mic. He's like, I got something to say. <laughs> I got something to say. I would like the opportunity to attack Matthew Match. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's the reverse question. It's like you get to attack yes. one. <laughs> yes. Yeah, why why do you want to attack Matthew Match? Right? I'm at that bus stop. On my way to my 8 a.m. So sure. tired. Mm-hmm. So tired. And he's not, and, and Pathy Matrix never gonna give you up. And here he comes with his little boombox. <laughs> and I've got geometry in like 30 minutes. <laughs> I haven't had my coffee yet. <laughs> this is payback. Payback. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. Well, there you go. Pathy Matrick, very divisive, obviously. Uh, just like Matthew Patrick's voice back in the day. Well, I don't have strong opinions, but. Here we go. Uh, so many people named Jeremy and FNAF. Okay, Flash Fox 11. Who are you? Jeremy from FNAF. Do you have a slightest idea? Oh, little it narrows it down. Yep, there's 16 of them. Every game has its own Jeremy. Get out of here. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, oh, here we go. It's a, the returning of a classic. The Music Man, here we go. Death Ray hit. What is this? Make sure death Ray hit. It is. I've never felt so alive. So I borrowed a prop from a nearby nursing school. Metro Man was finally dead. And Music Man was born. Music Man? Music Man! (laughs) Music Man! Oh, that's amazing. I've forgotten that part of Megamind. 
I, I, so to be fair, I wanted to do a Megamind film theory for, uh, I've wanted to do one forever. For some reason, I, I, I just have a mental block around like what it could be. So if anyone has any suggestions for a Megamind game theory, or sorry, film theory, uh, I will start it off with this as a cold open. Absolutely. Music man! Oh yeah. Hot, hottie. Hot. Good, good call out there. Megamind? Either of you, Stan? I've never seen it. No? It's been a long, long time. I do like the little uh, little cape thing you, you're wearing, though. Thank you. I, it looks, I think it it really looks very good. fuzzy and comfy around the neck. It, <laughs> it does. It's, it's very nice, yeah. actually. It's the sort of thing that Ollie would be really really want to wear around the house. Absolutely. <laughs> Me too, Ollie. <laughs> uh, tie Dye Ninja 04, which is he hiding? Question mark, question mark, or 2-2? Two, two? Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, there's a little secret blue channel there. That'd be either of those question mark question mark or two two. Just a friendly reminder that music, book, and conspiracy theories have all been debunked. It's true. Oh Matthew Pathew, it's true. <laughs> uh, he debunked music theory for copyright reasons, but the explanation for other two. Yep. Matthew Pathew, it's been debunked. Yep. So I wonder what it could be. Who knows? <laughs> Time will tell. Some picks. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love this. You gotta add that blue channel in. Whatever that ends up being. This is so cool. This is going to be like our title screen for a video game. Careless measurement. Well done. Good job, art theorist. This is so awesome. I love it. Can I make this computer, my computer wallpaper? Of course. It's so awesome. This is wonderful. It reminds me a lot of um, Don't Touch Anything as well when we were kind of like clicking around. Uh, it has that sort of like rougher pixel style, but like the shading of it reminds me a lot of it. It's so cool. I love all the math in the background. Makes me very happy. Graphs and charts. Unfortunately, Matt's on his way to his 8 a.m. class, and Pathy Matthews there, <laughs> blaring his boombox at that class. So protecting me. Yeah, no, no, pro yeah, protect. <laughs> they're on to me. Uh oh, Shadow Reaper 548. Uh, they're on to me. What? How? How are they? Ha! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, let's stop drinking milk. No, really, stop. And then the Southwest Dairy Farmers are doing their anti. I mean, they are like very clearly they are on to me. They're clapping the back. They, they know they are. They're clowns. They know that this is like against them, and they're paying to fight again. Hundred percent, absolutely. Like that is not a coincidence. They are absolutely onto me. Uh, that being said, and this is this is an important one. Uh, we're in the process of redoing that episode. Uh, it was called out that there was some misinformation in that one uh, that slipped through the cracks, unfortunately. Um, and so I wasn't aware of it, and our researchers apparently didn't. Uh, do a thorough enough job. So we're in the process of looking at that one to figure out where things went wrong, how they went wrong, and how we can kind of update that one. So, you know, some of the, the calcium amounts specifically that we talk about were wrong. A lot of a lot of it, though, still holds up as far as, like, dairy propaganda and how they don't actually, like, say a lot of the health benefits that it can provide. Like, they have to say it in very nebulous terms because they can't actually, like, deliver on some of this stuff. So, like, a lot of it still holds up, but there were a couple things in there that were mistakes that I'm like, oh, we need to correct these. So, stop drinking milk part two, coming to a screen near you at some point. Um, Kuji Koshi, Kuji Koshi, uh, my own spin on Markiplier's perfect Pokemon using MatPat's data. Oh, cool! Awesome! It's like a giant, like, moth creature. I could see I could see him being into I could see being into the moth. 100 percent Absolutely. I'm trying to think of how it works in the data. Let's see, it's a psychic Pokemon with purple, uh, decently long legs. Good. I think the I think the torso and the ears actually might throw him off a little bit, but I'm not sure. Unless this is inspired by like a Hawaiian uh, native species of moth, which would then like shoot it to the top of the charts. Absolutely. We, we designed Markiplier's perfect Pokemon. I don't know if you saw that, Ash. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, yeah. I did. I think that was posted on my birthday. Was it? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Happy belated happy birthday. birthday. Oh, thank you. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Happy cake day. Thank you. It uh -huh. was great. Um, my friends and I actually did, like, a Smasher Pass with all the Pokemon on that day. On so, that day? Wow. Yeah. To celebrate your birthday. Yeah. And to and celebrate the release of that. Out. Wow. That was what? Yeah. Yeah. My friend um, my friend sent me that video and he's like, do you, do you think this was a coincidence? And I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> it was fated to happen. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, okay. I, I guess I got to ask, what, what was your most smashable Pokemon? Or like, what was one that stood out as you're like, yep, that one for sure. Uh, oh, goodness. I don't, I don't remember the names. <laughs> I just... <laughs> So that's, isn't that always how it is? Yeah. Matt, you don't remember the name? I know. Don't. 
That's my red flag, I, y'all. I, I'm so not that person. Right? <laughs> Right. The the funny thing about like we thought I thought about doing like an, our version of a Smasher Pass with either Pokemon or FNAF or what you know insert game franchise here, and I'm like I would just pass on. I'm like not that. I'm like pass, pass, pass. How's their personality? Pass, pass. Are they funny? Pass, pass. Are they they have fun stories to tell? Pass. I don't know. I'm just be lame. I'm so lame. I'm a non sexual entity. I just want to enjoy the company of all these delightful critters. Whatever. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> Matt Pat was right. Oh, here it is. Okay, uh, Chikara, 1307. Matt Pat was right. Markiplier is perfect Pokemon. Yeah, so he's playing this game. Nyanla Hotep. Nyanlata Hotep. Yeah, and, he, and in the middle of it, he's at Smash. And they even add... Oh, nailed it. Nailed it! I don't know if this was fated. This is the thing I don't know. Is like, did he say that because he knew that we had that episode? Or was that an, an organic reaction in the I feel moment? I like it's a genuine. I think it was a genuine reaction. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think we just like called it and then just by sheer coincidence it was released. And so I was like, yes! <laughs> You're just that good at your job. Chalk, chalk one up on the, on the tally board. Yeah. That's, that's a win. Yeah. It's like five in the win column and like <laughs> 11 years in the lose column. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I felt good about that one. That was, that was a big win. I... I clicked on the wrong button. That's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Matt Pat was wrong. Okay. <laughs> See, First you were right, oh, and now you're wrong. 11, it's good to balance it out. Eleven years on the lose column. Matt Pat was wrong. X uh, by Play Z Chevy. Okay, here we go. Chapter two. Yep, it's Poppy Playtime. Train. Poppy Playtime. These are all screenshots of Poppy Playtime. Yeah, uh-huh. This is chapter two. I know that Poppy Playtime chapter. We actually have an episode coming that came out, because this is next Monday, came out this weekend about Poppy Playtime too. So uh, how am I wrong? Maybe I should have seen this before we finished recording that episode. Flying a web. What was I wrong about? Oh, was it the Cat Bee stuff? <laughs> These are just, descript- thank you, Instinct Fazbear. There's no context what's Matt Pat wrong about. He made a theory of the next villain, villain and the future villains of the game forgotten name i love it he made a theory where he talked about the future villains and i, I forgot name he theorized it was gonna be the b thing forgot name i believe i believe maybe I, lo- I love the i believe but it turned out to be the b- <laughs> it turned out- here's the thing I love- this is my favorite uh, <laughs> asteroid buster 2450 that's amazing uh, here, here's the thing. It, it, okay, so you're right. I theorized it was going to be Cat B because Cat B was getting teased a lot through Chapter 1, and there were five previous toys shown, which would indicate the, uh, the like, if Huggy is Experiment 1006, you would have Experiments 100 or 1001 through 1005, and so there were five toys that kind of fit into that, and so we predicted that it would be down the line with Cat B being the next because he was the most recent, or he was the one that was teased the most. Um... It ended up being Mommy Longlegs, this spider creature here, uh, the, as, as they say, the pink thing. I, th- I think when you're referring to the pink thing, you're talking about uh, hi- Kissy Missy, uh, which is the pink version of Huggy Wuggy, which was also something that we had hypothesized would be a villain at some point, but no, it's, it's uh, Mommy Longlegs. So, you know, they, they created an entirely new character. Yep, I, I was wrong. It, it, was a, it was a big shot in the dark. It was a big swing, but it, add it to the 11 years. I don't think I'm wrong about, like, I like that people are like, you're wrong about this. No one's calling out the fact that we said that Poppy would help us throughout the game. And in this trailer, you say, like, you hear Poppy actually, go, like, watch out. She's coming for you. She's hungry. Like, actively warning us against the other monsters, which seems like she is indeed helping us. So, just saying, it was a, it was a lose depending on what part of the theory you're talking about, but also a win. Nah, it's a lose. So, <laughs> here we go. Mirror Matt. Hey, it's you. It's me. This is you, floating around. Okay, we can't listen to that too long. You'll get copyright flag. <laughs> but now you get context for you floating around the world, around the world. I look great. Man, you do. Yeah. Wow. I okay. like that color on you. Thank you. It really brings out the, your eyes. Thank you. Uh-huh. My eyes. <laughs> uh-huh. Man, if only you had a corporeal body in this universe that that would actually look like this. But yeah, it looks awesome. If I had one. Yeah, if you had a corporeal body. This would be it. Yeah, that would be it. Mm-hmm. I think that's it's goals. 
That's gold right there. <laughs> Keep working. Keep working towards it, Matt. Uh, thank you, MatPat, for this gem on GT Live. Uh, they're all gems. Like, are you giving me the entire roster of videos that we upload onto this channel? Is that what I'm about to see when I click on the play button? Uh, MX Elliot 2T. Here we go. Let me pause it. Turn that on. Yeah. I have this camera thing. Yeah. I, have, I have an imposter syndrome, okay, Matt? I constantly need to prove myself and my worth in my day-to-day -day life. Imposter? Sus! <laughs> Sussy Baka again. Yeah, okay, uh-huh. Oh, I was wondering if... I, when I said it, I'm like, oh, man, that's going to be clipped. So there you go. Yep. Sus! Oh, man. In, in the imposter to people... That was my favorite part of the video. There you go. Sussy Baka. <laughs> Matt looks like the kind of fella to vent. Matt looks like the kind of fella to vent. Yep, that's me. Just launch me. Just a little venting guy. Yeah, you know me. Uh-huh. A little fellow. <laughs> I'm a little fellow. Yeah. Yeah, vent, vent me. Vent me. I got Sussy Baka syndrome. That's amazing. Uh, <laughs> meanwhile, probably like Six Ducks. Also apparently likes Miramat. I don't know. Aww. I know this isn't the point, but I'm in love with Miramat. You are not the sort of fella to vent. It's tough to be in love with a, a <laughs> corporeal... It's, it's actually easier, I would say. You think so? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> You're just a voice on a set of ideas. Oh, so they can project whatever. Yeah, they can project whatever. That's true. Right? Okay. I yeah. welcome all projection. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You're, you're a mirror with a body. Uh, quite literally, I am a mirror. Yeah, map. literally. Mm -hmm. I like that people give you a body, like give, think that you have a body when in the actual, you're just a, a tall, you're just a tall stand, freestanding mirror. What if I'm a person in a mirror? What if I'm you in the mirror? I'm talking to or the man in the mirror. Whoever. I think Michael Jackson sang about that at one point. <laughs> it's true. Here we go. Week one of asking Matt Pat to make a balloons tower defense theory. FNAF lore, not solved. Balloons TD lore, yes. You know, I I used to play balloons a lot when I was in college and stuff, and, and I, I played a little bit of balloons tower defense. Is there lore to balloons tower defense? What would the, here, rash choices led me. <laughs> what would the theory be answering the question of why monkeys really don't like balloons? Monkey war crimes. Oh wait, somebody already did it? Really? I mean, th these these all sound. This is a job for Austin. How hard is it? Like, I here's the thing. I could do a science episode, but they said the lore, the balloons tower defense lore. Like, science makes sense to me. Monkeys, you know, could a monkey throw a dart? Could a monkey throw a dart at the the proper speed in order to pop a balloon? What are the odds of them being able to throw a dart properly to to pop a balloon? Hundred percent. Could they pop multiple balloons like you see in the game? How many balloons do they pop in a single throw of a dart in the game balloons? And, you know, could a, a dart actually pass through that many in real life? Uh, tower defense, you know, there's a lot of wacky items and stuff that you can use for the tower defense version of the game, too. So, like, all of those are valid, like, science topics, obviously. Um, obviously, pfft, uh, tower balloons. Um, but for lore, I don't know the lore. I'll have to look into the lore. I'm intrigued now. You, you've, got, you've caught my attention. Caught my attention. What else? What else? Do I, I just clicked to Reddit. No one wants that. <laughs> Don't go to main Reddit. Absolutely not. Here we go. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, based on the HGT episode. Yeah. I'll have a PS1 ARG with hidden codes and passages. <laughs> I'm original. With Courage the Cowardly Dog. Hey! Daring. Nice. And an ad. Fantastic. F3 meme. Mother. I have... <laughs> it's like... So Ollie doesn't pee the bed, uh, but Ollie does stand outside his room like this, being like, Daddy, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> We're like, Aww. okay, yeah. It's like, okay, hey, Ollie, it's okay. You don't have anything to be nervous about. You're fine. Let me dinner here. So this is, this is that's it. This is literally Ollie doing that. Uh, ooh, Gregory the Robot. Shatter Gregory. This is it. It's going to be revealed at some point. He's going to catch fire and he's going to melt. Society, if his name was Matthew Path Pathew. <laughs> Matric, Matric Patrick. <laughs> it's true Matthew Path it's, it's true Matthew Pathew uh, I'm, I'm so sorry I'm holding our, our personal evolution and societal advancement back uh, it, it's a personal failing of mine what can I say I'll, I'll, I'll petition to get my name redone officially uh, in the record books you can do that right you can, you can get your name changed that's a thing yeah, you have like to that. have like a reason do you? yeah feel like it uh, look at what society will look like <laughs> The internet has told me if I change my name, society will have flying cars and awesome towers. Maybe 
maybe what we need is a return to simplicity to the yes. caveman days Patrick Patrick yes <laughs> what if progress you would you would <laughs> what if progress isn't good wow there there he is there's that mirror mat I know and love <laughs> Maybe if we don't, says the guy who went to film school. Like, you know, maybe if we didn't have cameras to document, you know, our lives, thereby rendering my major news. <laughs> and that's why I'm painting. That's true. See? That's, that's a technology. He's practicing for the cave paintings. Exactly. Deer running on a cave wall. <laughs> Tell me what paint works best on cave walls. Let Oil me know. pastel. Watercolor. Watercolor. <laughs> Get out! All of society is regressed. Guess what? No one wanted to learn about the bite of 83. <laughs> no one came to class that day. FNAF 1001, a comprehensive lore-based course. Nope. No one cares. From FNAF 1 to Security Breach. It's amazing. Oh, that's so funny. I would totally attend that course. I'd be, and then I would laugh in the front row being like, you guys don't know your FNAF. You'd be that the person correcting the professor. I mean, if they're wrong. Right. Like, they, you no, can't be spreading misinformation. It's like that time my science teacher in seventh grade wrote the incorrect question on the test. Mm -hmm. And I wrote him a full page-length essay about why he was wrong and what he was meaning to say. You did not. Yeah. I, I believe that fully. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Well, maybe oh it wasn't gosh. a full page. Maybe I exaggerated. It was, but it was definitely, like, a solid five sentences. Like a paragraph. <laughs> Like, like, wow. and, and I'm like, I'm like, here's the answer that you want me to give you. Here's the question that you meant to ask. Like, because uh, this is factually wrong. <laughs> and, and what happened? To my science teacher, he got uh, removed from the teaching position because he hit on uh, underage kids. Oh, yes. But up, up, but up, up. Yeah. So I don't feel bad telling that story. No, don't. I'm actually very glad that he wrote so, that paper. So I dunked on him and then. The world dunked on him. I, guess, well, I don't know. He dunked on himself. He dunked, right, true. right. I was gonna say like you can't really. See. Exactly. He he got the natural consequences of what was coming to him. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The seventh grade science teachers in my in my middle school, both of them, uh, shortly after I uh, after I graduated, a couple years after I graduated, were both removed from their positions for various uh, reasons. But uh, well, that was mine. The other one was uh, removed for corporal punishment. So good times. Ooh. You're gonna get that phone call. No. <laughs> it seems like you want to get that phone call I'm not going to get the phone call You're considering it though No, I'm just waiting for it to stop oh. I don't want to hang up on them You know, or like the send it with, you, mm -hmm. it, Well, on iPhones you just turn the screen off And it stops Well, yeah it, But it doesn't Does this up. look like an iPhone to you? <laughs> and, that's, and that's your fault <laughs> <laughs> Dang Wow Man Says the guy who I've offered multiple free phones for. I'm happy with my iPhone. Okay. I'll say it. Great. I'm proud to be a sheep. <laughs> hey, Ash. Yeah? What do you use? I have a Google Pixel 6 Pro. Yes! You guys are like the, you guys are like the yin and yang of each other. Kind of. It's, yeah. it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like this dynamic that's happening. Yeah. I'm kind of jealous of your Pixel 6 Pro. Yeah, yeah camera bar is pretty great. I love camera bar. <laughs> Nice camera bar. Yeah. I love I love that it's just personified. It is a cool like little feature. It's so nifty. I love it. Deltrude Chapter 2 exists. We could do something with it. It's a thing. I noticed something in Fazbear Frights 10. What did you... Oh, notice the X inside the L's bend. Yeah, it's... So I've looked into this, actually. It's... it's Because I thought... I, when people first pointed this out to me, I'm like, Oh, wow, maybe there's secret lore in the books off of these little glitch letters. It's actually the specific font that the book is using to make it look like glitchy and cool. I, I don't, as far as I can tell, it's no secret code or anything like that. It's just the capital glitch letters in this font have those like additional things attached to it. Uh, okay, cool animation. What happens when a frog eats a player? Oh, I was like, where is the back rooms? I'm like, is this part of the lore that I don't understand about the back rooms yet? I get it. A frog eats a player and sends you to the back room. Thank you. Okay. I was so confused. I'm like, cool video? I want a cool video. Uh, game theory bracelet. Yes, fam! 
Game Theory Bracelet. Yes, thank you. Uh, I like Doggo5. Game Theorists. Yes, you and me. We'll have bracelets together. Yours is a little bit more full than mine is. Mine is literally just a pipe cleaner, but it's okay. Cool. I love it. How come we haven't done that as a merch item? That seems like a fun one. We could all be here just during GT Live. We could thread them that ourselves. Sounds lovely. Doesn't that sound awesome? Mm -hmm. That would be amazing. Right? That sounds like it would be amazing. And then we just like, here, we made these bracelets for you guys. Were, were you around when they were calling bracelets candy? I was around when there were candy bracelets, okay. where it was a bracelet made of candy. And you weren't a part of the early 2000s rave scene. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, you know, I, I wasn't a part of the early 2000s rave scene. Okay. I don't know if I've ever been part of <laughs> anything that would be defined as a scene ever, to be honest. The rave or otherwise. <laughs> Let's be honest. There's scenes in theater. Theater is a scene. Theater. Yeah. And then there there's literally... multiple scenes, and those scenes come together to form an act, and then those <laughs> acts come together to form a play. Yeah. So I was in those scenes. <laughs> act one, scene one. Oh. <laughs> a Scottish castle over the moors. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. <laughs> That's the scene. That's the scene I was in. Yeah, so it, so they called it candy. Wasn't, I, that, yeah. wasn't that drug terminology? That also. Okay. But, yeah, if you had, like, a wrist full of, full of candy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Cool. So what's up? So, <laughs> <laughs> well, I was debating whether or not to tell my story because because the bracelet stories that I so first off the you know the bracelet stories that I remember again talking about like the weird things that happened in middle school right was there was the I, I don't know if this was real or not but there was the panic that happened you know probably like the pod panic back in the day I don't know if I'm allowed to say that shoot I might have gotten this video demonetized darn it. Um, I can bleep it. You could, yeah. Bleep, bleep, bleep the, 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 the the TP panic <laughs> where people were, you know, chewing laundry detergent. Not a good idea. But uh, where they had the, like, jelly bands. The sex bands. Yes. Uh -huh. and, and based on, like, which ones broke off or snapped oh, yeah. was the different, like, thing. I don't know. Was that real? I don't know. That was real. Was it real? Mm -hmm. Well, it was, like, like kids wore them and were like, haha, I'm wearing the blue one. But it, like, <laughs> but, I did, don't but, no, I don't think. Right? I, to me, that reeked of... Again, like the news media finding like one instance of something, mm. and then like boom, boom, boom. I'm sure at one school somewhere, yeah, that's real. Yeah, right. That's that's what I'm thinking. Is yeah. like it was it happened once, and that's like it's a national crisis. The jelly bands, uh, yeah. the jelly bands are showing the moral degradation of our kids these days. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, game theory bracelet. There you go. I think here we'll, last one. That was. Wait. Game Theory intro and Beat Saber. I'm just gonna play, I'm gonna play. Ooh, it's gonna come fast. Ooh, wow! Awesome, this is great. I haven't played Beat Saber in so long. Oh, I could use some Beat Saber in my life! So good. This is so good. I'm so. I'm. We we need to use the game theory theme more often. I know we've gotten out of it because YouTube is like, you know, watch time and attention spans and stuff. Like, get to the point. Get to the point. Like, you got to start off the episode immediately. And so the like extended intros have had to kind of go by the wayside, which is a shame. Um, but it was fun to use it. We used it in a recent episode, and I'd love to bring it on back because it's ah, oh, it's so good. Love it. Love it. Uh, speaking of intros, Matt and I were working on a new intro for this channel. Yeah. Along with Ryder. Yep. Ryder, we need to we need to hit up Ryder. Ryder I guess. is so talented. He's and so great. Good at what he I does. I love him so much. He's, yeah. He's the best. Um, so anyway, I think that's good for memes today. Like I said, I know the Friday Night Funkin' Mob is something that mod has been something that you guys have been uh, sending our way to react to. So we'll have that uh, coming up as well as you know next time we do these keep submitting stuff. Uh, we'd love to see it. Ash, thank you for joining us off screen. Yes, thank you. Any any other fun things to say? Um, Give us one more weird factoid about yourself. Blah. Um, 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 <laughs> I've seen Paul McCartney twice. I'm going to see him again soon. Are, yep. are, you, are you total besties with Paul McCartney? Oh, I wish. I wish. <laughs> Maybe like in a parasocial sense. Okay. But yeah. 
that, that you're seeing him as a concert. Mm-hmm. Are you going to join Matt and I for the RuPaul's Drag Race Work the World Tour? I might, if you're cool with the tricycle turning into like a little go-kart. Yeah, we'll, yes. we'll, we'll, Mario, Kart over to the, we'll Mario Kart over to the Work the World Tour. It'll be great. Yes. Uh, uh, nice. Awesome. <laughs> uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you know, keep submitting stuff. We're always on the lookout on the Game Theory subreddit. Uh, I love the stuff that you've been submitting around the new... Uh, you know, Markiplier Pokemon episode. A lot of the new episodes have been getting a lot of fun fan art and stuff from you guys, so please keep submitting it. Hopefully, uh, now that Ash is here, the, the backgrounds will change. Hey -o. Yeah, with some new fan art and stuff. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> the world is our oyster. So, until next time, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya! Bye.